So as you can see, there's a giant bird right there. What's going on guys? It's the Iguana Man. Thanks for checking out this video. So real quick, we got a new gun that we're gonna be testing on today's video. Weather conditions aren't all that great though. So it's really cloudy, it's windy, there's no sun. So I'm not even quite sure if any iguanas are gonna be out for us to remove. There's only one way to find out, let's go to the job. Let's see if we can put them in the bag. As you can see, there is one right there, but he's right next to that house, so we can't really take a shot on him. Oh my gosh, there's a giant one over there. So we do got landscapers right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull off to the side and see if I can take that guy out right there. I think we're gonna have to try doing that. It's a monster. Monster, 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 monster. We're gonna pull up real quick. So we can see if we can bag him. This is my new gun right here. It is the Umarix Gauntlet 22 air rifle. It's a PCP. That means it's got this tank right here. It works on air. We don't got too, too much air. We have about, I'd say maybe like 40 shots. So we gotta make them count. And we got this really nice scope right here. So as you can see, there's a giant right there. Got him. So we got a lot of small ones, all right? The gun is really nice. It's really heavy though. It weighs about 12 pounds. We're using this shot stick right here to kind of steady our shot and our aim. Line it right up. This is the biggest one of the day. So far, we already took out three of them. So this is the one that I want to show you guys because he's actually worth looking and check that out right there. Look at that shot placement. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So you guys seeing it right there, aiming for the head, but anywhere over here is the kill zone. So we kind of smacked him, went through, did immediate damage right there, damage the brain. So these things are really strong that the only way you're gonna take them out is by hitting them and destroying their brain. An instant death, super humane, so we got this little baby Charizard right here in the bag. So as you guys can see, the wind is picking up quite a bit. It's starting to get really cold. The sun is going away. It's starting to get super windy. So I'm, we got two of them landed, all right? That's not bad for these kinds of conditions, all right? So, so far I'm really impressed with the gun. Only downside is it's really heavy, but you know what? What doesn't kill us will make us stronger and soon I will get used to carrying that big heavy rifle But I'm winded right now boys. It's tough Wow We're gonna go to the other section of this property See who's out there and see what we can bag. Let's go So as you guys can see, we are back on the hunt. It's another day. We had to give it a break yesterday because the winds got way too, way too intense. So as you guys can see, today is actually raining. So I don't know if there's gonna be any activity for us to capitalize on, but we're definitely gonna go out there and give it a look. Um, we're still running the same setup. We have the Umarix Gauntlet 22 PCP air rifle. This is the ammo we're gonna be using right here, the Barracuda by H&N Sport, 22 cal, long range. 
uh, 21.14 grain made in Germany. So this is way heavier than what I was using last time. The, the pellets I was using last time were about 14 grain. So this is about a third heavier right here, 33% heavier. And then of course, since we are using the air rifle to take them out, if anybody is still kicking, we do have this power line by Daisy 415.77 cal BBs made in Japan CO2 pistol right here just to quickly uh, humanely put them out without wasting any additional air or ammo on the big rifle. So that's what our, we're working with today. That's going to be our setup. I'll give a demonstration on how to load the mag. So you start by twisting it this way. You see the arrow pointing that way. Go all the way until you see clear. See that? Stick your finger back here. Stick that through there. And then you can take your finger off and then just slowly start feeding all the pellets into the mag. Very important, do not put a pellet in the opposite wrong way because it's gonna cause your gun to malfunction, probably destroy it. And of course, you're gonna miss your target. So take your time, make sure everything's pointing the right way. And uh, should be good to go. It's fairly easy to load. Once it's all in, snap, put it inside the gun. We're ready to go iguana hunting. We got a couple shots, but let's try to make it count. Gonna have us a lot of iguana meat. He's out cold. Look at that right there. Perfect point of impact shot placement. Right through the brain. Instant humane kill. This is crazy, y'all. This is a game changer right here. Another one right there. 
perfect humane kill, sorry. For the graphic video right here, guys, but this is just part of the hunting. We wanna show you guys the perfect shot placements. Everything is super precise, on point, and super humane. There goes another one. All these females meeting up with those giant males. You guys know what they're trying to do. They're all trying to breed. Another female right here. Perfect, perfect shot placement. Destroyed the brain, instant humane kill. Another one. Another breeding male. This is insane guys another one wow one hit kill couldn't ask for anything better this is the mango tree right here that our client is trying to get back nice and healthy but he was saying that every time little sproutlings start sprouting the iguanas come and they just tear it down so he can't really do anything his, his, his hands are tied there was one more over here that got hit I think he might be down. I think he's right there. He might be down. Okay, we got one, two, big boy. All his girlfriends right here, all of them. All of them are trying to get fertile. So you guys, you guys want to hear a, a cool, interesting fact about female iguanas and, and their, their anatomy and how they reproduce is they can actually lay fertile eggs even if they haven't bred. They can keep sperm in their body for, they can keep sperm in their body for up to two years last season so many iguanas right here we took care of business so hopefully this yard can get back flourishing his plants can grow the iguanas are eating all the flowers and stuff they're actually cutting away from the butterflies and the bees and that could potentially prevent future pollination of native plants so we talked to the guy, he's like, he knows that they're innocent animals, it's not their fault. But due to the fact that they are invasive and there's so many of them and they're breeding like out of, out of control, they're breeding guys. They're breeding way out of control. That we just had to upgrade the gear, had to upgrade the gear and get us a PCP air rifle. And as you guys can see, I think it's I think it's definitely worth it so that's all i have for you today hope you enjoyed the video check out the weather behind me it's so unpredictable out here we have so many storms on, on each side of the coast gulf coast the atlantic coast uh that is absolutely unpredictable guys so no matter what though i still got to come out here and uh put the smack down on these iguanas as you guys can see uh cloudy or not there's still a bunch of them and they're still trying to breed so we prevented that. My thoughts on the air rifle on the uh, Umarek Scotland 22 works really good. It's got pros, it's got cons, but I really think the pros outweigh the cons. All right, it's a very efficient, very accurate, uh, very strong, as you guys seen from that footage. Um, the con of it, of course, is heavier, way heavier. But you know what? We go over here. We don't got to hit the gym, y'all. We run, we sweat, we carry heavy rifles, tons of pounds of iguana meat, get that protein in. It's just get the cardio, lift the weights, eat the protein. That seems like it's my motto right now, y'all. I don't know. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe with the bell notification on. We're going to go ahead and be posting more of these type of hunts. Make sure you smash that red subscribe button, leave some comments, give the video a like. If you guys enjoyed the scope cam, if you guys like the Umarik Scotland PCP-22 air rifle, drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this, guys. It's the Iguana Man signing out. So until next time, guys, 
just keep on catching. Go on a meet. Thank <laughs> you. 